Good afternoon, church, or evening, or morning, whenever you're listening to this. Scott here. A um, couple things uh, I just want to touch base about. Um, I, I am actually upstairs in what is known as the AV loft or Don's, uh, Don Crawford's office. Um, I think this was Andy Renton's office at one point. Um, I'm up kind of like above the auditoriums in there, room 200. AV desk is around the corner and this space has been used by many people hidden upstairs. Uh, Don Crawford's haunt for the last couple of years. Off and on. Um, anyways, uh, this Sunday we are, actually this week and next week, we're doing something unique that you are going, going to look forward to. It's called One Thing Sundays. And we have uh, four people who are going to be sharing with us, plus myself, um, sharing one thing. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, it'll be a mix of people, young and old, and it should be great. Uh, make sure you stay all the way through to the end. Um, Ava Chen uh, will be concluding. It should be great. So yeah, that's this week. Um, with that, you probably have noticed the uh, link here um, and a letter from Dawn and Karen Crawford um, letting us all know um, that at the end of this month, which is pretty soon, uh, this coming week, they are going to be making the move after 20 years in Victoria, making move, the move over to the mainland. And um, it's just a significant, they have been a big part of us. Uh, Don and Karen moved here 20 years ago for Don to, care, to join the staff of the pastoral team. And uh, he and Karen have played a huge role in this community and in so many people's lives uh, in Lambrick's life and beyond Lambrick's life. Um, both Karen and Don have had a huge impact on the evangelical community, um, particularly the pastor's community and spouses in the city and will be um, missed by many. So just want to say we love you. Uh, we'll miss you. I know that Don and Karen are very sad to be moving in the midst of COVID and not have an opportunity to see everybody and connect with everybody, but they're just heading to White Rock and uh, they plan to be back and we will see them. So make sure you read Don's uh, brief letter and uh, find your ways to reach out and express love and care if you've had um, a chance to know them over the years. Um, with that too, um, I just want us to, we want to mention, Lucy and I have been talking about how these Thursday emails uh, really are so vital, right? We don't get together on Sundays. And so we, I just want to ask that you would, if you think of it, ask a friend, hey, are you getting the Thursday emails? Hey, are you in the loop with what's happening at Lambrick? Because um, some people get lost in the system. Maybe they've never signed up or their emails have started going to the trash. And we just want to make sure everyone's in the loop um, because this is a vital connection point. So ask one friend, ask 10 friends, make sure they're all getting um, send them to the website if they're out of uh, the connection. Maybe they're not getting it or they're not getting it anymore. The emails are now being posted. I think every Thursday on the website, you can always get the latest information of what's happening. Uh, lastly, um, we are, the missions team has been working with Lucy and myself to put on a special event to honor um, three of our missionaries. So um, Sue Priestley, Deb Morris, and Amy, uh, who's just gotten married uh, this past weekend to Matt, Amy Edmana, and um, they are all going to be in town, and we are looking forward to on August 6th, it's a Thursday night at 6.30 till 8, having a physical, physically distanced gathering called Missions in Transitions, and uh, we want to hear from each of these missionaries, um, Deb Morris, Sue Priestley and Amy to share a bit about what this change, changing moment means for them and a hope or prayer as they look forward and take a, a bit of time to pray for each of them as they mark a change. Uh, for Deb, it's the conclusion of a number of years serving with the mission agency. For Sue, it's a, a, sh a, sh a shift of moving to Victoria for the next chapter of her service with OM. And for Amy, uh, it's marriage and what God has for her and Matt on the other side of COVID. So um, yeah, if you want to be a part of that, we will be gathering in a physically distanced way at the church. Um, you will need to sign up and register. Lucy has a connection for us here and uh, we will explain how it's going to work, but we'd love to have a community of us come together who know and care for these guys to pray for them and bless them and hear from them. So um, that's all the information for this week. I look forward to seeing many of you this Sunday. Yeah, that's it for today. Bye.